you know, make sure you do your research on the, the company, the hiring company. I mean, there's so many coming out of the woodwork, you know, but I, as soon as she reached out to me, I kind of Googled Atlas and looked at it a little bit, looked at reviews, the reviews were really good and stuff like that. So, I mean, everybody's don't have their issues, but you know, really there's so many out there now that you just, you don't know much about them, you know, so really do your research, especially if your first time, you know, get with a very stable traveling company, your first couple assignments. And then if you want to branch out, and go with someone else to try something different, that's okay. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm an allied recruiter with Atlas Med Staff. I'm Joe. I'm a, a traveling respiratory therapist. I've been traveling for about uh, four years now, so off and on, and yeah, I've been an RT for eight years. I love to travel. I love to meet new people and uh, see different places. You know, it's probably through maybe, I don't know, Vivian. Vivian, probably. I use that app a lot. So my most of my career has been adults, and I wanted to kind of get into children's and peds and a little more. I had a good experience last year at a hospital, children's hospital, and yeah, so she reached out. You know, other, you know, other people reached out, but I just, I felt comfortable with her, and uh, you know, we had another assignment, right, that the we one looked that we at. Submitted, we were going to try submitted. to submit for, and I believe it closed before we were yeah. able to submit for it. Yeah, and then I think like a day later, I saw another assignment here, and she jumped right on it, and the process was pretty quick, so it, it worked out really well. So, yeah. Well, just that, you know, she's, uh, I could always get hold of her. You know, if I, if I have something to ask her, she's on top of it. She, gets back to me within minutes you know or so and um, she's always told me you know I could call or text anytime I want it feels comfortable with her and uh, yeah it's been a good relationship so far Joe is very easy to talk to I feel like we've, we've had a lot of great conversations we actually FaceTimed during the compliance yeah, process yeah. so we actually got to see each other face to face and which is great because getting to actually meet and know your travelers is amazing well, you know, a lot of people, you know, it's funny, you, you talk to staff and they're always upset about, like, pay, and they're, you know, why can't we get the same pay as the travelers, but they don't realize, too, that, you know, a lot of times we have another house that we're paying for, like a mortgage and stuff, you know, and then we're trying to find a place where we're staying, you know, so we got to pay for that. Um, and, you know, sometimes if you don't have a significant other, you're by yourself, your son, my son lives in Omaha, so I don't see him as much, but we have a great relationship, and I see him when I can, but... But also the, the pros are that kind of the reason I, I do this job is I've never been a nine to five person and I don't like the red tape, you know, so I know that when I'm done with the contract, I'm done. I could, I could extend if I want, I could go to a different place, I could take a month off, take a couple weeks off. So you just have that flexibility, I think that's really nice um, as a traveler, so I like that. Um, I would just really, I guess, you know, make sure you feel, you know, feel good with your your recruiter and ask them a lot of questions about the hospital, how big it is, you know, what's the area around it. You know, look up the cost of living, that's a big thing. You know, want to look up your surrounding areas of the hospital. You want to make sure that, you know, it's a good area. It's hard to look at an Airbnb and just, you don't know if it's a good area or not, so make sure you look at that. But, and when you get there, just really ask a lot of questions to the staff members and hopefully there's other traveling RTs that you can get with too and ask them questions. But I think just just kind of diving in, you know, and uh, don't don't feel nervous about asking questions ever. Definitely know what you're getting into. There's a lot of things that come up later on in travel that you don't realize at first, and especially just being away from home. So make sure that you're prepared for that, um, and make sure you vet your recruiter and it's somebody that you're comfortable talking to, so that if a problem does come up, you can get through it. I did my research. I saw a lot of good reviews. Um, my recruiter, Melissa, like I said very very good relationship you know and then just our conversation of the night i mean i think you know being based out of omaha nebraska just having that midwest feel i think is a big thing too is that that honesty with the midwest people and just the way they go about their business and you know alice you know kind of piggybacks off that i guess so and you guys are all over the country you know so it's just not you have a couple assignments here and there you're you know you want that in a traveling company because you want to be able to go places. We were, we were go just ahead. talking about yeah, that. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I kind of have, I usually don't have a plan, but um, my plan is to go uh, possibly to Virginia, maybe California. Um, but I think 
by next winter I'll be um, probably go to Hawaii. So that's what I'm kind of looking at. I've been there a few times and I think I'm ready to go do assignment there for a while maybe. Maybe stay there. <laughs> <laughs>